Hi everyone, welcome back to Wild Reads. Today is the first review video that I've got for you. It's an absolute belter. It's Matt Haig, How to Stop Time. Let's get straight on with the review. Roll the titles. Hi everyone, welcome back to Wild Reads. So as I said in the intro, today is the first in hopefully what I hope to be a series of um, books that I, I, I pick from my wrap up videos. And just do a little, uh, just a little review. Um, in a wrap up video, you don't get much chance really to um, to talk uh, in, in any depth about the books because they, the video would end up a huge long length and nobody would watch them. So what I've picked from my July wrap up is Matt Haig's How to Stop Time. Um, this has been out in the UK for about five weeks now. Um, it's doing really well. Um, Matt Haig, for those of you not familiar with him, uh, is the author of Humans and, uh, or, or The Humans, should I say, not Humans the TV series, but The Humans. Um, but I came to Matt Haig through his non-fiction book, Reasons to Stay Alive, um, which came out a couple of years ago, that chronicles Matt's uh, battle with uh, mental illness and depression and anxiety. Um, and that's that's a really good book. So I hadn't read any of Matt's fiction before. Um, so this book, I, I'm going to read you the blurb. I think that's what I'll do for these reviews. I'll just read you the blurb. So what it says on the back, and the artwork for this is... Um, the artwork for this is superb, so hats off to the people at Canongate Art Department, in particular uh, Peter Adlington, who's the cover designer for this book, um, he's done a superb job. Um, so what it says on the back is, I am old. That is the first thing to tell you, the thing you are least likely to believe. If you saw me, you would probably think I was about 40, but you would be very wrong. Uh, and then what it says on the inside, on the inside cover, is Tom Hazard has a dangerous secret. He may look like an ordinary 41 year old, but owing to a rare condition, he's been alive for centuries. From Elizabethan England to Jazz Age Paris, from New York to the South Seas, Tom has seen a lot and now craves an ordinary life. Always changing his identity to stay alive, Tom has the perfect cover, working as a history teacher at a London comprehensive. I love it, it's brilliant. Here he can teach the kids about wars and witch hunts as if he'd never witnessed them firsthand. He can try to tame the past that is fast catching up with him. The only thing Tom must not do is fall in love. How to Stop Time is a wild and bittersweet, bittersweet story about losing and finding yourself, about the certainty of change and about the lifetimes it can take to learn how to live. Um, so just going on that, um, just a little bit more in depth. Um, as you may have gathered, Tom has got uh, a medical condition um, that, um, well, yeah, is it a medical? Yes, it is a medical condition, um, which basically ages these people. And Tom's not the only one. There are people with this condition all over. But what it means is that the, the people with this condition age very, very slowly at a rate of about 1 to 15 of, of our lives. Um, they're not immortal, they can be killed, but they, they just live these huge lives without the kind of diseases that would kill you or I off. Um, so, you know, there's no cancers, there's, they seem to be immune to brain tumours and respiratory disease, that kind, that kind of thing. Um, so, there's a society called the Albatross Society, which um, people with this condition are, are members of this society. And it's, it's basically a society that wraps itself around these people to protect them. Because if you're found with this condition, you're going to be liable to scientific experiments and you're going to be seen as a, as a, as a, as a freak of nature. Um, so on the face of it, I sort of read the blow and I thought, wouldn't that be a really cool thing to have, to live this huge life over many normal lifetimes? But then, um, as, as you discover... You can never lay down any roots. You can't form any relationships um, because every eight years you've got to change your identity because people would, if you if you stay around the same people for any length of time, then you're going to be discovered because you're not going to look any different. Um, and that's what happens um, 
early on in the book when um, Tom is, 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 is found to have this condition um, and the people there, this is in the days of, uh, days of witchcraft trials and so um, he, he, they think that he's, you know, like possessed or the devil or, you know, um, but it's, it's, a, it's a cracking book. It really is a, a brilliant book. I, I, I don't think I've enjoyed, um, uh, it's certainly the best thing I've read this year. Um, and that's saying something because I read A Little Life this year as well. So it's, it's, um, it will, it's certainly going to be in my end of year top 10. I would have thought. Um, so it's out in the UK now. It's out in the States um, sometime soon, I believe. The paperback of this comes out on December the 28th. So a good idea if you've got any Christmas book tokens um, or you know, or you're going shopping soon after Christmas. Um, it's well worth a read. Uh, it's an absolute five-star read. Um, and so it's How to Stop Time, Matt Haig, published by Canongate. It's out now. So that was my review of Matt Haig's How to Stop Time. Um, I'm probably am going to do this as a, as a series. What I'll do, um, I'll just pluck a couple of books out of my end of month wrap ups and just talk to you in a little bit more detail about them. Um, what have I got reading coming up? I hear you say I have got the next one I'm going to read. Um, I've, I've just finished a book called Arthur, uh, which is about a dog and I'll it sounds riveting, doesn't it? It does, but it is good. It is a, it is a good book. It's a heart warmer. Um, and the next one on my list is um, Sarah Winman, Tinman by Sarah Winman. Or is it Tin Man by Sarah Winman? I don't know. Do you know, I've been struggling with that for a little while. Is it Sarah Winman, Tinman or Sarah Winman, Tin Man? I'll let you decide. But either way, that's uh, that's why I'm going to be reading next. So until the next time I check in with you, take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.